welcome to Marisa's Easy Kitchen. I have another wonderful, easy, easy recipe. And guess who's helping me? We have Carlo Gambale, grocery manager from Nardini Specialties in Stony Creek. So thank you again for joining me. Pleasure to be here. So that was so much fun. If you didn't get a chance to watch our last episode on the charcuterie board using an extravaganza of uh, panettone, then you'll definitely want to uh, go back and, and find that one. Okay, so today we're gonna do a recipe that probably takes like five minutes to put together and it's going to really wow your family and friends and uh, use up pandoro, right? right? So I know you talked a little bit about the pandoro in our last episode. What makes this so special? Well, it's a simple cake but with great ingredients. So it's versatile, uh, it gives you the sweetness but not overly sweet. Uh, it's similar to like a bread product but again enough sweetness to make it very special at this time of year. And uh, because it's oftentimes uh, used as a gift for Christmas, you might have leftover pandoro, sure. right? Yeah. And so this is a recipe that certainly you can use a, a fresh one. But if you have half of pandoro like this, yeah. this is a perfect recipe. So I'm gonna ask that you take that sure. out of the bag. And uh, I noticed this beautiful uh, jar of Nutella. Okay, first of all, every jar of Nutella is beautiful. Let's yes. just make that clip. Okay, but what is it about this labeling and the beautiful photo on it? Well, it's a new uh, promotion that they have with 42 different landscapes of Italy in the 900 gram jar. So they've just arrived and it's a limited uh, collection, but it's, it's a wonderful gift for people as well. Mm -hmm. And just as I uh, took off the uh, top, oh Smell. my gosh, it just smells so beautiful. So this could just make dessert right here. Just it this. could be, absolutely. Okay. But we're going to make rotolo di pandoro con nutella and I'm going to show you how to make a beautiful creme anglaise. Uh, that's going to be a very lovely sauce uh, to go with it, okay? Sounds delicious. All right, and you were telling me that these um, peaks here... Well, in its full version, the peaks are simulate, or it's, it's in honor of the mountains um, around Verona. So can I ask you to cut that maybe sure. in about uh, two centimeter thick slices? Okay. So certainly you could uh, slice this up and serve it as it is. But this dessert is um, just a little special, right? Because yeah. it assembles a very simple but delicious ingredients. Uh, so I love this creme anglaise. It's a very rich, velvety uh, sauce that goes with so many different desserts. So I've added a half a cup of milk and a half a cup of full fat whipping cream. And I bet you recognize this. Vanilla bean. Okay, so you <laughs> could use a little bit of uh, the vanilla extract uh, don't use that imitation stuff, right? No. You know, we're talking about good quality ingredients, right? Absolutely. So, you know, splurge a little bit and get the extract or splurge a lot and uh, use the vanilla bean. But we're going to use maybe half of it. So I'm going to maybe just, maybe you can put those in that little sure. red plate there. So maybe half. And it looks all dried up, but it's very easy to use. You're going to use a very sharp paring knife and split it open. And when you split it open, you reveal all the beautiful little vanilla seeds. I think I didn't get any there. Here we go, right here. There they are. All right. So we're going to add that to this milk and whipping cream because it's going to give it such a beautiful flavor. And then this, I'm going to toss it in as well. So I'm going to put that on about medium low heat. I'm going to ask that you continue on with the pandoro. Sure. So I have here two sheets of the plastic wrap, and this is going to help guide the rotolo. Rotolo is kind of like a jelly roll. So I'm going to ask that you lay those out, maybe three this way and three this way, okay. and just try to tuck them in as best as you can. Okay, so you did a very nice so job. Good, right? Yeah, try to interlock them like you would a puzzle. Uh, the important thing is that you don't want any little pieces, like any gaps like that, right? So I might have to uh, maybe cut this off over here and maybe tuck that in. There you go. Okay, I think that's good enough. So this one here is a little thicker, so that's okay. I'm going to just take that little bit off and I'm going to use it to fill in this space. Okay, kind of looks messy, doesn't it? For now, yeah, nobody's gonna know. Okay, <laughs> perfect. And in the meantime, I've got three eggs here that I'm going to uh, separate. Um, I'm not using the whites for this uh, recipe. I'm gonna add three tablespoons of sugar. And you know, if it's a little bit more, a little less, it's not really a big deal. Okay, perfect. 
Okay, so that's all whisked and we're going to temper the eggs. So I've heated up that milk and cream with vanilla and I'm just gonna add a little bit at a time. We don't wanna make scrambled eggs. <laughs> and you can see the vanilla beans in there. That's gonna be so, so nice. So, so just a little bit at a time. It warms up the egg yolks with the sugar. And then once I have just enough like that, then I can pour it back into the pot. And I'm going to heat that up, constantly whisking to make sure that it thickens nicely. No lumps. Okay, so it's come to uh, a nice consistency. You know that it's done when you put your spoon in and you do the finger test at the back of the spoon. You do this. And of course it's very hot mm -hmm. and you notice that it doesn't join in so that's the right consistency that you want for this uh, wonderful sauce and because we want to make sure that it's very creamy we're just going to pass it through a sieve and then we're going to put a plastic wrap on top of it and uh, make sure that you refrigerate so, it. I already made some sauce earlier today because we do want that sauce to be nice and cold. So here it is, and there's that plastic wrap that I was telling you about. Okay, putting you back to work. All right. So the Nutella is going to now uh, cover this up. So use your spatula, okay. and it's gonna be a little bit messy, but you know what, that's okay. Sometimes that happens in the kitchen. You can use this to maybe right. scrape it off. And I'm gonna help you too. So how about you do that side? Sure. Yeah, and you don't really have to worry about it being too, you know, perfect too because green. once again, it gets all covered up. So how much Nutella should we put? The whole jar? <laughs> we'll see how far we get. And really, you could fill this up with anything. If you have a nice uh, jam, you, you had showed us some beautiful imported mm -hmm. jams from Italy. So That's we're nice. going to spend a minute or two and spread this out and then I'll show you how to roll it. So you don't have to cover every little piece of it. But the plastic wrap is actually going to help you roll this up, okay? And it's going to crack a little bit, but that's no problem. So you want it to be a nice, tight roll. And this is why we tried really hard to fill in the gaps, right? Mm -hmm. See, it's already looking beautiful. Yes. And again, like you don't have to worry about it being a little bit on the messy side. It all comes together. I love desserts like this. It's easy and it's okay to make a mess. That's <laughs> right, and nobody will know. Yeah. Nobody will know. Okay, so using the plastic wrap, I'm going to cover it up completely, very tightly, and then I'm going to refrigerate it, okay? And then that'll help keep its shape. So with the edges, you just do a little twist here, get a little squeeze, it can handle it. This is one of those desserts where really you could do this the night before, mm -hmm. and then uh, the day that you're ready to serve, you can take it out of the fridge. Uh, by that time, your creme anglaise is uh, nice and cold and you're ready to assemble it. For sure. The rotolo di pandoro con Nutella has been refrigerated for a few hours, and my creme anglaise is ready, nice and cold. And so we're gonna slice this up. So this is one of those desserts where you know, whoever prepared it gets an extra special treat. So see the ends? Yeah, yeah that, that belongs to you and me. The same okay? proportion. Right. So you could get a very lovely platter and just put this on top of it and uh, use the icing sugar. So actually, we're going to do that now. So could you use the icing sugar and just sprinkle it on. So the pandora already comes with the icing sugar. This is it. the one from the pandora. Yeah, so you're going to just sprinkle right. it on. So it doesn't remind me of the Italian Alps. But that's okay. Well, they're when they're snow capped, I guess it can. Exactly. Okay, that's okay. lovely. And maybe you can take those strawberries there and fan them. Sure. I'm just gonna get rid of the edges here. I'm gonna make sure that everybody can see how wonderful it looks. So I'm gonna get rid of this. There it is. Nothing wrong with that piece. Not at all. Okay. That's good. So look at there, you can see how it's already swirled with the Nutella. And we're gonna do three very thin little pieces. So we have our plates here, and we're going to make a puddle of that beautiful sauce. Isn't that lovely? Okay, right in the center. So this would be a lovely dessert at the end of a very fancy meal during Christmas or New Year's. We'll just take these three. Going. Just fan them out like that. Look, they're pretty. Looking wonderful already. Well, I found these nuts here, these yeah. uh, toasted hazelnuts at your store. It's a new product that is being offered by a company, Dolgrim, that also makes uh, panettones, um, torrones, and they've got this beautiful product. It comes in pistachio, 
and it comes in hazelnut and almond. So I loved it because the work is already done. Exactly. Right? I've already been busy, you know, making Christmas cookies and all sorts of things, dinner and so on. So anytime I can take a little shortcut and know that I get good quality, then you know what, I'm going to do that. And this is perfect for this dessert because you just need a little bit to decorate the plate. You did a very nice job with the strawberries. First time doing it. Really? Yes. Well, look at that. There we go. It's always nice to have a little fresh fruit sure. <laughs> with your dessert. Get some uh, health in there. Yeah, sure. that's right. Mm -hmm. Okay, let me just fan that out. There we go. You could add a little bit more of the sauce right on top. This is a healthy portion of the dessert. <laughs> and of course, a little bit of green with the red is so nice, oh, nice. for Christmas. So I have some fresh mint leaves. Do you know I was picking fresh mint from my garden up to the other day? Wow. I know, lovely. There we go. Okay. That's, that is a dessert. That's an amazing dessert coming from the Pandora. A leftover Pandora, a leftover even, Pandora. right? Okay, so we're going to give it a try? You have to. Sure. Okay. <laughs> you take that one there. Thank you. I'll take this one. I think I was very generous with my slices. Of course. <laughs> it's the Italian way. So soft and moist. Mm. Is it good? Very good. Mm. Mm. So good. That sauce just adds it as another dimension. It's very light to it. too. It looks very decadent, but it's very light. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Beautiful. And those nuts, nice crunch to it, complements the Nutella. Thank you very much for your help. Give this a try at your next dinner party.